Hey guys, Justin here with Just Tech, and today I'm going to be bringing you a review of the Spec Candy Shell for the iPhone 6 and 6S. But real quick, before I get into the review, I wanted to say thank you so much for everyone who's tuned in thus far. I recently hit 60 subscribers, I think I'm around 65 now, and to everyone who's already tuned in, thank you so much. Everyone who commented, thank you so much for the feedback, thank you so much for watching. So to celebrate, I'm going to be giving away one of the Spec Candy Shells that I'm using for this review. Make sure to stay tuned to the end of this video to find out how to enter. I promise the instructions are very, very easy. So let's get started. So guys, here we have the Spec Candy showcase for the iPhone 6 and 6s. As you can see here, this is the red or Pomodoro model, but Spec offers this case in a ton of different colors and designs, which means you'll be able to find one that fits your style. On the exterior, we have a very glossy finish, which will attract fingerprints and scratches pretty easily. Turning it over on the interior, we have a nice tough rubber, which will provide impact protection and shock absorption. Since this is a thin light case, you won't be adding much bulk to your device, but let's check out the weight. Placing it on the scale, the case comes in at around 34 grams. Not too heavy, so weight won't be an issue. Placing that aside, let's take a look at the thickness of the case with our digital calipers here. And looking at the thickness, the candy shell comes in at a little over 10 millimeters. So let's go ahead and pop our iPhone 6S inside the case and take a look. Starting with the button side first, the case fits very nice and snugly around the phone. Starting around to the left side, you have a very generous opening for your ringer mute switch and very clicky tactile covers for your volume buttons. These are thicker covers than some other cases have, but it adds to the protection that this case offers. On the bottom, you have openings for your headphone jack, lightning port, and your speaker. The headphone jack and lightning port openings are wide enough to fit a lot of third-party headphones and lightning cables, so you shouldn't run into too much trouble here. On the right, you have a covering for your power button, which is again very clicky and very tactile. Unlocking your phone is simple enough since nothing is in the way of your Touch ID sensor, and the lip around the case offers a nice bit of lay on the table functionality. All in all, this is a very slim, lightweight way to add a lot of protection to your iPhone, but there are just a few things to keep in mind. First, the glossy nature of the case itself means you'll see faint scratches very quickly. I've actually been using this case for a while now, and the only way I was able to keep the back looking this good was to be extremely careful. If you place your phone in your pocket or purse with keys or other things, expect to lose that brand new case look very quickly. One other odd thing about this case is that the back of the case has a slight rise right in the middle. It's tough to see, but you can sort of tell where it bends the light as it hits the back of the case. Although you won't feel this little rise, it does mean the case will do this when you place it on your back. Not good. It'll spin and spin. This also means that if you place your phone on its back and try to type on it like on a desk, it's going to wiggle around and might make it difficult to use. I don't fully understand why this little rise is on the back of the case, and Spec doesn't have any explanation as far as I know. Maybe it's a design or manufacturing flaw they never saw fit to correct, but either way, I really would like to see this go away in future versions of this case. Those two cons aside, if you're looking for a huge variety of case colors and designs, you can't go wrong with the Spec Candy Shell. This case usually retails for around $10 to $15, and I'll be sure to provide a link below to where you can pick this case up at. As I said, I'll be giving away one of these cases, and the one I'll be giving away is the black model here. With the black one, you'll see that the scratches aren't as immediately noticeable as with some of the other colors, but it's still just as glossy. It also spins just as badly. And now that I think about it, this would be a great for Spin the Bottle app. So that's it for the review. The instructions to enter the contest are simple. One, be subscribed to this channel, and two, leave a comment below letting me know what your favorite iPhone 6 and 6S case is. That's it. I'll be announcing the winner in two weeks time, so stay tuned to find out who won. Be sure to hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video, and as always, subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more content just like this. I'll see you guys next time here on Just Tech.